this is the review everyone's been waiting for. Iron Man 4K, German import. But let's talk about it. Brass tanks. But before we do all that, allow me to introduce myself. It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. You know that you already know. I got the window open today. Just in case the ice cream man comes again, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna kidnap that bitch. In this review, I'm not gonna review the movies at all. I'm gonna talk solely on the transfers. These are things you need to bear in mind. It's a German import. So all the subtitles and all the locations, you know, when it says one year later or what have you, they're gonna be in German in this bitch, okay? Especially in Iron Man 2. When there are foreign parts, it's a German translation. Importing these aren't cheap. I'm, I mean, I'm in the UK and I have these shipped from Germany and it cost me around 65 pounds. And these are three relatively old movies. So that's another thing you need to bear in mind. I guess the reason you're watching this review is so that you can ascertain whether it's worth a pickup. Fair enough. There is some controversy over the digital intermediate of these movies. IMDB, they used to have these listed as 4K digital intermediates, now they're switched to 2K digital intermediates. And I've looked on various sources and I can't figure out what the fuck it is, all right? So I'm gonna say 2K for now. I'm gonna go over the specs for all of these Blu-rays right now, because they all have the same specs. They were shot in 35 millimeter. Visual effects, 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K with a question mark on that bitch. DTS HD 5.1 Master Audio. The sound are pretty much the same across the board on these movies. So all I will say about the sound is it is 5.1. It is a pretty good 5.1. Uh, the explosion in the first movie, you know right at the beginning, that shit scared the fuck out of me. So it does have nice depth to it. Uh, it's a really good 5.1. Obviously, it's not going to match 7.1 or Atmos or DTS-X. Whatever the case is, it's decent sound. What more can you do with this bitch? Yeah, it's not horrible. So at least you know with that. They all have special features. Special features that were present on the Blu-ray itself. Yeah, you got everything from featurettes to the making of, the trailers to music videos, they've got everything there where they talk about the characters. I remember seeing these on the Blu-ray and they've ported these over to the 4K discs across the board from Iron Man 1 to Iron Man 3. Now I've got these things out of the way, let's just get on with the review. It is grainy, obviously because it was shot on film so there is going to be some grain there. It is present and you do notice it but it's not really overpowering. The movie is overly shot. There's a term for this, but I can't remember off top what it is. Some of it looked like it was sharper than it needed to be. It looked a bit too overly sharp to me. I guess if you upscale something, it can look that way. And that's kind of how it looked. The flip side of that is this movie did have detail. What the HDR did primarily in this movie was bring out the vibrance. It is a very, very vibrant movie. In some parts, perhaps a little oversaturated. There is a little crush from what I could see. But for the most part, it looks good. It is a very vibrant picture. Vibrant and detailed. Now, I said it was sharp, but the sharpness also brings out the detail. And you do know it's makeup on these mofos. Robert Downey Jr. got makeup in this bitch. It's okay, he's an actor. He could do what he wants to do. There was nice depth to this. You could see some layers in certain shots. Remember when he first gets kidnapped and then he's making his kind of first prototype? The HDR in that kind of warehouse, wherever he's trapped, that garage, whatever it is, looked A1 in this bitch. The HDR brought all the little nuances, all the little colours, it really did show and I did feel in parts of this movie that this is a definite uptick uh, in quality over the 1080p. Overall with this movie, it is an uptick. I wouldn't say it's subtle, it's beyond that because you do notice the sharpness, you do notice the detail, the HDR definitely gives everything more pop and a bit more depth. So you do notice that there is an improvement in this. Is it a night and day difference? In some parts with the HDR it is, but it's not it's not gonna wow you, you will appreciate certain things, but it's nowhere near reference. But it's a, you'll appreciate the upgrade in parts. And to be honest, some of the parts will probably frustrate you because it's of, it does look overly sharp in parts, to the point that if you really look closely in some of the scenes, you can see some jaggies. It's the best version of the movie. Let's just keep it real. Another winner of this is the HDR. God damn! 
It's a better transfer than Iron Man 1. It's an uptick in quality once more. Remember I was complaining about the sharpness on the first one. The sharpness with this one isn't overbearing, but you, it is very detailed. Like on, on Tony Stark's suit, when they're in the courtroom, you notice all the in intricacies, all the pores, the pupils, everything. You do notice that there's grain once again, which is present. There's grain across the board on these movies because that's just how the movie was shot. Iron Man Expo at the beginning is A1 on the HDR. God damn! There are some really good standout moments with the HDR. I can name three. So you've got the Iron Man Expo. When they're in Monaco and Whiplash attacks, I was expecting that scene to be good, and it was good. Looked beautiful. You can definitely see the wider color palette on this movie. Scarlett Johansson in 4K, baby. You're looking A1, you're looking fantastic. Want to see you in Ghost in the Shell, so you and Lucy fell in love with you there. Still in love with you here, waiting on Ghost in the Shell so I can fall in love with you some more. Nice sense of depth, some of the landscape establishing shots, like at the beginning with the Shang, Monaco, uh, you can see a lot of detail, a lot of the HDR on the landscape. So it was a very nice, appreciable difference and upgrade from the 1080p. The highlight of this movie though, the real highlight of this movie has to be the climax, where they're facing whiplash. You know, we're all, all bells and whistles because it's dark and light scenes, right? Because you've got special effects, you've got fires, you've got explosions. The HDR on that looks A1. The colors are striking. They really are. It's a standout moment. My jaw drops when I saw the climax. This isn't a reference quality disc and it is an improvement over the 1080p. But there are some wow moments in this transfer, especially in terms of the HDR. Black levels are very good. They need to be, especially in the end where a lot of things happen at night. Pretty good transfer. An improvement over the previous one. This one is still looking great. First off the bat, there is a little less noise in this one, even though it was shot in the same way. There is nice depth and layers. You can see the pores and the textures and the clothing, and especially the detail on Tony Stark's Iron Man. You can really see some of the wear and tear on it, which I didn't notice on the 1080p, for sure. The chopper attack is reference quality in this bitch. The HDR looked beautiful, and just the detail looked A1. The fire, everything looked great in that shot. Black levels are fantastic. This is another movie where the climax takes place at night. The HDR on the night scenes, on the climax of this movie, is firing on all cylinders. God damn! Iron Man 3 is the best out of the three in terms of the visual detail. These are a nice, appreciable upgrade from the 1080p. Results vary from good to great. Reference in parts, I've got to say, brass hats, seal of approval in this speech. I don't regret picking it up, not at all. If you're a Marvel fan, I don't think you can really go, go wrong. Audio files are obviously gonna be upset with the fact that there's no Atmos. It's got all the extras that the Blu-ray has. It's a win, it's a win. Really surprised by this, good, to great transfers. That's pretty much it in this bitch. I wanted to get this out because I know you guys are trying to figure out whether you should pick it up or not, and I do recommend you picking it up. That's it, guys. Hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. I'm gonna catch you guys soon.